Statism and Anarchy, is a collection of essays and letters by Russian anarchist Mikhail Bakunin, written between 1868 and 1873. In these works, Bakunin develops his critique of the state and advocates for a radical form of anarchism that seeks to abolish all forms of authority and hierarchy. Bakunin begins by critiquing the idea of the state, arguing that it is a fundamentally oppressive institution that exists to protect the interests of the ruling class at the expense of the masses. He believes that the state must be abolished in order to create a truly free and equal society. Bakunin also critiques other forms of authority, including religious and economic institutions, arguing that they are all used to justify the domination of the many by the few. Bakunin then goes on to advocate for a system of voluntary associations, in which individuals freely join together based on common interests and needs. He believes that these associations should be organized in a decentralized and federated manner, with decision-making power distributed among all members. Bakunin also emphasizes the importance of solidarity and mutual aid in this type of society, arguing that people will naturally work together to achieve their common goals if they are not hindered by coercive institutions. In addition to his critique of the state, Bakunin also critiques other political movements of his time, including liberalism and socialism. He argues that both of these movements are ultimately insufficient in their attempts to create a truly free and equal society, as they still rely on hierarchical structures and centralized authority. Bakunin also critiques the idea of political parties, arguing that they inevitably become corrupted by power and turn against the interests of the people they claim to represent. Overall, statism and anarchy, is a powerful critique of authority and hierarchy, advocating for a radical form of anarchism that seeks to abolish all forms of domination and create a society based on freedom and equality. Bakunin's work remains an important contribution to political philosophy and a source of inspiration for anarchists and other radicals around the world.